All right, good morning, class. Remember, we're working on our Y verse this week. So if you would like to say that with me, the verse is Y. Ye are the light of the world. Remember, that's talking about Jesus. Ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. Y, ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. Okay, good job, everyone. Okay, today we are going to learn about the Good Samaritan. Okay, so let me show you the picture first. Hold it up a little bit. Okay, sorry for the words back there. I see a man that looks hurt over here, and I see some people walking by. So let's see what that's about. And I'll show you that picture again in just a second. Once there was a man who was traveling along a road by himself. Suddenly a gang of robbers grabbed him and began to beat him and hurt him. The robbers beat the man and stole his clothes and everything that he had. They left him badly hurt laying on the side of the road. So you can see him right here, hurt on the side of the road. And you can see people just kind of walking by. Okay. After the robbers ran away, a priest came walking down the same road. That would be the same thing as like our preachers walking down the side of the road. Priests were men who taught people about God and worked in the temple where the people worshipped God. Priests were supposed to be loving and kind, but the priest did not care about the hurt man. He just walked away to the other side of the road to keep from getting near the hurt man and just ignored him. Then he kept walking down the road. He showed neither love nor kindness to the hurt man. Later, another man came walking down the road. This man was a Levite. A Levite was supposed to do things that please God. Do you think it would have pleased God for the Levite to help the man who was hurt? I do too. I think that's what God would have wanted. That would have pleased God, but that is not what the Levite did. Just like the priest, the Levite walked to the other side of the road and walked around him and left him there hurt and kept on walking. He did not want to help the hurt man, and he didn't show any love or kindness to him. The poor hurt man wondered if anyone cared enough to stop and help him. If not, he would die alongside the road with no one to help him. The hurt man finally heard the sound of a donkey coming. Clippity-clop, 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 down, down the road toward him. A man was riding the donkey. The man was from a place called Samaria. The people of Samaria and the people of Israel were not friendly to each other. No one would ever think that a person from Samaria would stop and help a person from Israel. Let me show you the picture. But this man from Samaria was different. He saw the hurt man beside the road and felt very sorry for him. It didn't bother the Samaritan that the hurt man was from Israel. The Samaritan stopped his donkey, got down off of his donkey, and went over to the hurt man. He poured oil on him where he hurt to help it not hurt so much. The Samaritan picked up the hurt man and put him on his own donkey. He walked alongside the donkey comforting the hurt man. And this showed, the Samaritan, um, this showed that the Samaritan was a very kind man. If someone falls down on the playground, do you laugh at them or make fun of them, or do you go help them up and pray for them? You can kindly ask if, he, if that person is all right, or you can tell the teacher if the person needs help. Jesus wants us to be kind to other people, just like the Samaritan showed kindness to the injured man. The, the Samaritan with his donkey carrying the hurt man came to the inn, kind of like a little, uh, like a little hotel. And this was a place where travelers stayed. There the Samaritan got a room where the injured man could lie down and rest. Let me show you a picture of that. The next morning, the Samaritan had to go on his way. He gave the innkeeper money for the hurt man. The money would pay for anything that the hurt man needed until he was well enough to travel. Please look after this man, the Samaritan said to the innkeeper. I will come back later and pay you for the extra cost of taking care of him. So when Jesus finished telling this story, he asked, which of these three men, the priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan, 
do you think was a neighbor to the man who, who was hurt by the robbers? The answer was the Good Samaritan. Jesus wants us to do good to everyone and treat people the way that we would like to be treated. We should be kind to all people, even if they look or talk differently than us. Though Samaritans and Israelites did not like each other, Jesus taught that they should show kindness to one another. Let's pretend that a person is not very nice to you or says mean things to you at school, which we know happens. One day you see him hurt or crying. If no one else is around, how could you be a good neighbor or loving to him or her? You could go help him or her, or you could get someone to help. Even if the person has never been nice to you, you could be nice to them. Do you think that that would please God? Yes, it would please God very much, and that person might become your friend. So one of the important things that the Bible teaches us, and it's, it's very hard for us, it it, it means that we need help from Jesus. Um, the Bible teaches us that we are kind to people and we love people no matter how they treat us. I think you guys probably remember me telling you all the time that you, you can't change how somebody else acts. You're not in control of that. You can't help if somebody is going to decide to be nice or to be mean. The only thing that you can control is yourself and how you act or how you respond. Jesus wants us to be responsible for our own choices. So even when it's hard, when somebody is being unkind to you, yes, you can let your mom and dad know or you can let your teacher know and get help from them. But Jesus says that you are not to be unkind to them back. Even though they are doing the wrong thing, you're still responsible to do the right thing because you love Jesus and you want to please Jesus. And so um, what the story also teaches us is there are going to be people that are different than you sometimes. There are going to be people that you don't like. There just are. There are going to be people that you don't get along with. But we should never be unkind to them. And certainly if they were ever hurt or crying or ever needed help, we should be there to help them because we love Jesus. We want to show them the love of Jesus. We're not always the nicest people either, and we're not always kind to everyone, and sometimes we're mean to people, or sometimes we make bad choices, but God still is kind to us. You know, Jesus still loves us even when we make bad choices. So Jesus wants us to show that same kind of love to other people. I know sometimes the hardest um, people to do that with are your brothers and sisters or your cousins, people that you're around a lot. And you start getting on each other's nerves and fighting, and it can be really hard um, to be kind. But it's what God has, has called us to do. It's what he's told us to do. So just remember that everybody has a hard time with that sometimes. But when you feel yourself wanting to be mean or having a hard time being nice to someone, um, pray about it. Now, that's what I do with my kids at home. We pray about it because sometimes, you know, we just need the Holy Spirit to come in and help us to be able to be nice because we can't always do that by ourselves. So just think about that. And um, I'm going to close us out in prayer, okay? Jesus, we just love you and thank you for your goodness and your kindness. Um, we thank you that you're changing us every day to be more like you, even in the hard things that you're, um, you don't teach us what the world teaches us. The world teaches us if someone is mean to us or if we don't like them, we don't have to be nice to them. But Jesus, that's not what you teach. You teach us that we love others even when it's hard because you love us even when it's hard, even when we're not nice. And God, um, we just pray that you would help us to do that. I pray that, um, that you would just help us to remember what your word says about showing love and kindness to others. And we thank you because we know that when we obey you in that and we do the right thing even when it's hard, that you will bless us and that you are so pleased with us. And I just thank you for that. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.